Several people have asked us why we're doing this project because the inside of the boat looks really good to them. The, <laughs> it all comes down to the lighting. <laughs> in the videos, of course, we can we can choose what to show and what not to show. So here are some photographs of the interior of Lea Lea. Getting a little bit more detailed than we usually do. Yeah, more than we usually like to reveal of uh, the condition of the boat. You see there's water stains on some of the bulkheads water damage actually to some of the wood. And that's where I usually uh, lean against when I'm cooking and that fiddle yeah. piece came off. Right under the companionway step. Hey, maybe we'll finally install the stereo. Oh yeah, new stereo. <laughs> well, we need a new one. And I get my Lexan doors. Yeah, that's going to be a lot nicer. Yeah. But just little details in the boat that overall just make it not quite as appealing visually. Yeah, and that 1973 uh, countertop. <laughs> With the that's, bright orange on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's the gap in the mast. Oh, and that detail, we'll fix that too. So that's why we're planning this big job. Here's some of the discussion that went into the decisions we made. We don't need any plywood here at all. We just take two solid sapelli boards, four inches wide, one on the bottom across like that and one across here where the fiddle is and then and it's got to be thick enough to support our frame that drops in the frame drops in and, and we have to figure some kind of latch system so that it can't just flip out when the boat rocks but anyway yeah. our frame with the net on it drops in same height? Same height as where it is now. I mean, we could raise it up if you want, but same height, I'm thinking. Maybe no more than a couple of inches. We, it would be easy to drop the frame in and raise the seat height, this height, Yeah. two inches. Yeah, so, that would I give mean, us a little extra storage space below. Yeah, nothing to that at all. Because it just sits in there, and instead of making holes where everything goes through, But we don't want to take a chance on us bumping our head right here at all. No. Cracking our heads. That no. would not be good. Anyway, follow, my, follow me through here. Okay, so instead of the, the plywood with the sliding doors. So two pieces of plywood, huh? This is, yeah, that's two separate sheets. Uh, bummer. Yeah. What are the measurements? Uh, it's, uh, it's 53 inches vertically, this one piece of plywood, and each one is 32 inches wide. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's two sheets of plywood. Well, you know, I have to take measurements and do math. Oh my. <laughs> So we're still just trying to figure out what our total lumber bill is, might be, might be. Might be, yeah. Well, there's a lot of variables. There's a lot of variables on the lumber because um, some of it is going to come from uh, Seattle, the Port Townsend area, and be shipped up on the barge, and some of it is going to be procured locally, like the Alaskan yellow cedar that we need for this, the ceilings. It's going to look beautiful. A lot of thought is going into this and a lot of experience, and so I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. I'm sure it will turn out just fine. I just have to make sure I take accurate measurements and double <laughs> check my calculations. After all these years, we've developed some ideas about how we'd like to change and improve the accommodations in Lea Lea. After a lot of discussion and some careful measurements, I drew some sketches of what we had in mind. Laura and I both have several features we wanted to incorporate in the new design of the boat. And I took my sketches and my measurements and drove down to uh, Andy Cowan's workshop down on Falls Creek on Mitkoff Island. This is Andy. Andy's, Andy's our specialist boat carpenter is gonna help us out with the finer points of our reconstruction and this is his shop. This is pretty neat. It's a nice shop. Got all the tools that anybody could need for any project involving 
boat work or carpentry. After we finished discussing our project, Andy and I jumped into his canoe and paddled a short distance up the narrows to check on a float home on 1.4 acres that a friend of ours is selling. The house is built on spruce log floats. Prime Alaska shoreline real estate.